don't don't panic just yet. Um, I was doing um, my class last night, and hi Ruth, and um, we were doing the hydrangea hill class last night, and it kept. Um, I know I'm one minute late. Um, <laughs> it kept kicking us out, so or kicking me out anyway, and I can't quite figure out if it is my Zoom or if it's my internet. So, hi, Myrna. Um, so yeah, so I'm a little bit frustrated. I just, I have to grab one thing that I might forget to grab later. Okay. Um, is my punch. Um, so yeah, I unloaded Zoom and I reloaded it. I up, did an upgrade. Um, so I don't know, like I did the upgrade and it still crashed last night a few times. So I don't, I can't imagine that's what it is. I had my hair tied back in a ponytail. So now it's all gross. Um, so yeah, I don't know what's going on with it. It's really, really frustrating. So um, yeah, so I was trying to reinstall Zoom, trying to get supper made. And of course I was making, I was trying something different today. Hi Lynn, I was trying something different today and I was, hi Jan. Um, I thought I would make scalloped potatoes in my Instapot and I've had the Instapot for a long time, but I have not used it because I just, it kind of scares me a little bit. I don't know if anybody else has that feeling, but, um, so anyway, <laughs> so I decided to make, um, scalloped potatoes in the Instapot. I'm just going to switch this so you guys can actually see me while I'm talking. Hi. Um, and of course I was rushed because I was trying to get the dishes washed and I was, you know, trying to peel the potatoes and doing all this crazy, th crazy things. And um, so Maya finally came out of her room. It's like, do you need help? I'm like, yeah, can you grab the um, uh, chicken broth? I was like, what was it I needed? And so she's like, okay, what do you want me to do? I'm like, okay, pour that in. Well, I forgot the recipe that I was using only needed a cup. So it wasn't until I went to go open my Instapot that I was like, why is there all this liquid in the bottom still? And I was like, oh, this is the recipe that only needed one cup of chicken broth, not the whole container of chicken broth. So anyway, supper got ruined. <laughs> so it still tasted yummy and I just drained a lot of the juice out of it, but oh, I know. So it's just been one of those days. So anyway, so thanks for joining me. Um, I promised you guys we were gonna do um, a waterfall card tonight. We're actually gonna do three waterfall cards tonight. Uh, I cut enough stuff to do three waterfall cards. So if we can get through them, that's fantastic. And if we can't, then we won't, that's no big deal. Um, I just thought it's kind of a, a really, really fun technique. And I picked three different stamps that I haven't actually used in a long time. So it's a bit of a challenge for me. We're not using brand new product all the time, which is pretty cool. Um, so yeah, so, and I wanted to tell you guys that if you were part of the BOGO sale the last time around, I had like six boxes dropped off today at different times throughout the day. I'm not sure why, because UPS is usually here at 10 o'clock in the morning. And um, the last couple of days, they've been here at 10 o'clock in the morning, at two o'clock in the afternoon, and then again at six o'clock at night. So I don't know. Um, okay. What else? Okay, let me show you what we're gonna do. Cause you guys are anxious, anxious, I know. I will post the measurements for this um, so that you guys have it. So don't panic about trying to craft along with me tonight because I just want you to enjoy the card and kind of give me your input. And then we can, um, you can go ahead and watch this video later and make the cards on your own, okay? So as you're hopping on, just say hello. So I know that you're here. Um, and we can go from there. So this is how I craft when I'm designing cards. I use sticky notes in my little chicken scratch, very messy. And um, I put the measurements on a sticky note and uh, attach it to my sample card so that I always have it. Because I am actually quite famous for having random sticky notes on my desk and I have no idea what projects they belong to. <laughs> I know, I know. And I started writing them all in a book once. And I have a gigantic four inch binder that has all sorts of different techniques in it. So if you have not seen a waterfall card before, this is, I think this is my first one. So basically what happens is that you pull here and then this kind of moves along. So it's a interactive card. 
super, super fun. Um, it works really well with things that you can kind of see a progression to. Um, these donkeys are adorable. And actually, uh, Paula, don't let me forget. I have a, something I need to send. Uh, I need to send with the delivery boy and I keep forgetting. Um, so yeah, so it's absolutely cute. So this one goes this way, but you could essentially have it go sideways as well. So there's a lot of variety as to what you can do with this card. My washi tape is not even sticking. Um, so yeah, so I did that one first in Blushing Bride and then I did this one in, um, no, sorry, I did this one in uh, Petal Pink and then I did this one in Blushing Bride. So I had an event on Saturday uh, with a group of demonstrators. You've heard me talk about um, my silver supporting silver ladies and we did a, an event for all of our teams. Um, one gigantic event. And so I demonstrated this card on that live. So, um, and then it just opens like a regular card. Now, the one thing I do want to tell you is that so many variations to this card. This is how I've always done my waterfall cards. Hi, Bev. Um, but you could actually really make this piece wider if you wanted. It doesn't actually have to be just this size. I just find this size is a nice size to put on a card front. Uh, where sometimes some of the other ones are, uh, they might be a little bit too big and it might take away. But depending on what image you're using, you might want something uh, a little wider. So you just have to adjust your measurements and go from there. So it's been so long since I've done one of these. So it was actually, uh, it was really fun to do. So, okay, let's get started and do this. Okay, so I did, I have cut enough to do three cards because I think, that um, three cards will be fun to do. So of course, I'll show you the stamps that I'm gonna use. So Hey Chick, which is a new stamp for me. It's not a new stamp per se. This was a stamp that we had last year, or two years ago, and then it was gone and now it's back again um, with coordinating dies. So I wanna use this cause I think it's absolutely adorable. So I'm gonna use this one cause I have not used it yet. Um, I'm going to use Butterfly Wishes because I forgot how much I love this set. And when I was going through my stamps today, I was like, oh, I should do something with that. Um, and then Dress to Impress. So Dress to Impress, I don't think I have ever, oh no, I'm sorry, I lied. I've used two stamps out of for my sister's thank you cards for her business because she sells Lime Life, which is a makeup company. Um, so I did up a, a bunch of thank you cards for her that I don't actually think she even got because I think they're still here. Um, because of COVID, I never did send them down to her. So I had seen a double, um, a double Z fold card done with this set. And so I wanted to do that using the stamp set, but then I thought, you know what, I could actually use that on the waterfall card. So I'm going to challenge myself to use this on there. Okay. So these are the three sets I'm going to use. Um, and I'm sure you guys probably have the, well, you might have some of these, I don't know. Um, but I just thought they were kind of fun ones to use. Okay, so, and we have to do some scoring. I've already done all the cutting because I just want to kind of speed things up a smidge. So I figure if everything's cut, then that's the boring part for you guys to watch. Whereas the scoring will maybe make a little bit more sense to you. Okay, so what you need is just a standard card base. And of course, I'm just pulling from my scraps, okay? So no judgment on color. <laughs> so I am using what is in my box, which I'm very proud of myself. I'm trying to get through that drag. I must probably have, I'm gonna say at least 500 sheets of card bases here that I need to get through. So this is um, Early Espresso. So it's just a standard card base that is four and a quarter by five and a half. I'm actually gonna put my measurements over here. So then that way I can kind of see them without moving around. Um, and then what I need is I needed a card front. So this is very vanilla and I've actually cut this down just a hair all the way around so that um, I'm going to actually, I'm going to do something here because I want to make sure you, I can see your comments coming in too. Um, so I just cut this down a hair so that uh, I, I like to have just a little bit of a border, not um, a very wide border. So I'm wondering if I can, okay. I guess I'll watch my phone for comments. Okay, so I've got that. 
Then I need, this piece is going to be our mechanism. Um, and it's nine inches lo long by one and seven eighths. So just short of two inches is what this one is. And we have to score this piece. So we'll do that in just a minute. Um, and then this piece is one inch uh, wide by four and a quarter. And that's going to be um, our strip that's going to hold our mechanism. And then we need four pieces of two by two. So this is Poppy Parade, guys, which I have recently, hi, Marlon, uh, fallen in love with. It's not a color I have ever used until this week. <laughs> um, and you're going to probably see a lot more of it coming because I really, really like it. It's, it's a red, but it's like an orange tone red, but it's almost like a real good farm red, if you, if that makes any sense. Um, so then I have very vanilla and these are one and three quarters by one and three quarters. And of course I need four of those. Okay. So that's all we really need to make our card. So we're going to put these to the side for right now and let's do our scoring first. We're going to put these all in here. And then I have my one inch punch because this is just going to notch out my uh, mechanism so that the person who is receiving our card knows what they're supposed to pull. Because if you're mailing this card, sometimes they don't know how to um, operate the card, right? Because not everybody's card makers like us. Okay, so this is our one and seven eighths by nine inch piece. So we need to do some scoring. So again, on your scoring, um, bore or your on your cutter you want to make sure your dark blade which is your cutter is way out of the way so that we don't make any mistakes here by um, cutting instead of scoring and then your light uh, color is your score right um, so one and seven eighths if you're not sure where that is it's um here i'm hoping that will kind of show up so it's two ticks before the two inch mark okay so if you're not sure, you can always count your lines. I have done that numerous times just because I don't do seven eighths and all that kind of stuff very well, right? So um, I always like to, to double check. Okay, so on the nine inch side, what we're gonna do is we're gonna score at two inches. My shirt's getting caught. So two inches, two and three quarters, three and a half, and then four and one quarter, and that's it, okay? So I'm just gonna move this out of the way just for a second. Okay, so you can't see the score lines, but just trust me, they're there, okay? So what we're gonna do is we're gonna actually fold these towards us. So I guess that would be a mountain fold. I always have to think about those kind of things, okay? So let's bring this piece in. Oh, and actually what I want to do is I'm going to emboss this with the farm, or not the farm, the um, wood grain um, background. Because with the, I'm using the chickens for this set, okay, um, for this card. That's the first one that we're doing. So I'm going to emboss it with our wood grain embossing folder over here off camera. So just stay with me just a second. So if you don't have the stamp and emboss machine yet, it's amazing and I love it. Okay. So. So if you don't have the stamp and emboss machine, you can actually put that in the starter kit and then use your 20% discount to buy all the dies and all the embossing folders to go with it. So, because you get to pick $165 worth of product, right? Mm -hmm. Yep, you do. Um, okay, where is my stamp and seal? Okay, I have glue like on the bottom of my stamp and seal. Okay, so I am going to go ahead and I can, I can adhere this because this is just gonna be the front of my card. Now, what I could actually do, if I had actually thought about this a little bit more, um, I probably would have done that in crumb cake. 
to be quite honest, instead of Whisper White. However, it doesn't matter because I can actually take my new blending brushes and I'm just going to, can you repeat? Repeat which part, Bev? I'm gonna do three of these cards. So if you missed a piece, don't worry. We're going to um, have lots of opportunity to get the measurements. And I will post all the measurements and stuff for you guys as well, okay? So don't panic about trying to keep up with me and and uh, get all the measurements and stuff. I promise you I will um, post the measurements. And what I will actually do is this video is always available for you guys to come back and look at, but I will actually put it on my YouTube channel as well. So then if you want to come back and look at it again, then you absolutely can. Okay. So I just want you guys just to enjoy watching somebody else do something crazy. <laughs> and well, it might as well just be me. So I know you probably can't tell on camera right now, but because my crumb cake is very, very light, but it is actually taking, um, it's actually taking a little bit of the very vanilla um, strength off. And when I say strength, I mean, it's not as, um, it's not as dark, or it's not as bright as, um, as it was. So I'm just bringing in a little bit of soft suede. And I, what I'm doing is I'm just trying to make this look a little bit more rustic. Okay. Scoring. Okay. Yes. I will repeat the scoring measurements in just a second, Bev. Okay. So this looks a little bit more rustic-y. I'm telling you guys, these blending brushes are incredible. I'm kind of thinking like, why did Stampin' Up! not come up with these like years ago? Oh, because it takes years to design a product. <laughs> right. I forgot. Okay. So the measurements again, Bev, are two inches. Two and three quarters, three and a half, and four and a quarter. Okay, thank you, Lynn. Okay, so now what we need to do is this piece that we mountain folded is actually going to be on this part of our card, right? That's our me mechanism that is going to, um, to do the moving. And this piece here is... Um, is going to be the part that holds this down. Okay. I was just looking because I feel like I want to do something here and I might run this through my embossing folder just because I don't like um, just personal preference. I don't like plain pieces of paper. I prefer um, either a pattern or embossed. Okay. So just give me one second. Well, I emboss this little piece. Okay, there we go. There we go. That's better. So now what I'm going to do is I want to position my mechanism um, kind of where I would like it to sit. So you'll see that there's not really a lot of room top to bottom. So this I'm going to lay about there. Okay, and then I'm going to just try this and make sure it's kind of hard to do with it not being glued down, but that's kind of what I'm looking for. Okay, so I'm going to use Stamp and Seal Plus on this. Now, in the olden days, when I first learned how to do this technique, we had these fantastic little things called brads, and that's what I was actually... Um, taught to adhere this with is a brad to hold those down because it was very secure right well we don't have brads anymore um so we just improvise so i am using stamp and seal plus okay and actually what i want to do is i want to um put some glue here at the bottom 
of this piece. So then when I line this up, Okay, now wait for it. The worst part is over. Okay, actually what I should have probably done though, let me take this apart for a second here. Cause probably what I should have done, I should have actually probably just built this from the bottom up just because I forget that you guys are learning. Okay, so disregard what I just said. Let's get these pieces stamped first. We're gonna do change of plans. Okay, hey chick, this new stamp set for me. Okay guys, look, it's not even, a, not even assembled yet. Hey birthday chick is because it's the coffee and card cloth um, stamp. So if you have never put a stamp set together before, you're gonna get a, a quick lowdown of a lesson here. So basically these um, beautiful stamps now come uh, die cut for you, or like cut out for you. Years ago, we had to cut them ourselves with rubber scissors. So if you've been around for quite a while, you know what I'm talking about. Um, so these stickers um, have a cut through each one at the halfway point. So basically what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna find my stamp. So this is the, the fluffy chicken. So I'm going to peel this one back. Hang on, my fingers aren't working. There, peel that one back. Okay, so this is the sticker. This has a sticker on the back. I'm going to peel that off. Okay, now basically all I'm doing is I'm playing a matching game. So I'm just going to lay this on top and make sure that it matches up right. That's all I'm doing. So I'm going to put this down. Okay, I'm just gonna kind of push it down a little bit just so that the sticker adheres. And then I'm just gonna peel this back. Okay, so I was not shown this for a very long time and I would take the sticker and I was trying to lay it on here and it was an absolute disaster. So take my word for it. This is the easiest way to put your stamps together. Okay, so I'm just gonna take a quick second to put the rest of these together. And as you get going, you can um, get these put together pretty darn quick. So yeah, so years ago, we didn't have this beautiful luxury of putting stamps together this nicely. We had to, um, <laughs> we actually had to cut out our own rubber, like you had to buy special rubber scissors and get as close to the image as you could. And if you were like, so I'm going to stamp these just in black for right now. It says my internet connection is unstable, guys. Am I still there? I hope so. Yes, am I still live? Okay, looks like it, okay. I'm a little paranoid now, guys, I'm not gonna lie. Okay, so I'm gonna take this little chicken and I'm gonna put him on one of my very vanilla pieces. That has a piece of block on it, so let me flip this over. So I'm gonna stamp him about there. Okay, thank you, Linda. Um, I need, a, oh, oh, I brought back my um, stamp and scrub that has been at home for a hundred years. So I'm just gonna clean my stamp. So you always want to clean your stamp before you put it back and you never with these new poly um these new um adhesive stamps you do not want to leave them on your block they will rip your rubber right off okay okay my next my next little chicken 
Now these guys are like quite the little characters, I gotta tell you. So Linda and I were talking today and I was saying how I don't really, I'm not really a chicken person, but these stamps are, oh my gosh, the dyes are incredible. They did a phenomenal job designing these. Okay, so I can clean this one. So if you've never seen the stamp and scrub before, it's basically a cleaner for your stamps. I prefer to use my chamois on some things and my stamp and scrub on others, just because I find the stamp and scrub gets into the little grooves a little bit more than the chamois sometimes, but the chamois is awesome because all you need is water for it. So, but we all know that I don't have any water here at the studio right now, so stampin scrub it is all right so now on my last on my last guy what do i want it to say i think i'll put hey check and then on the inside or the um On the bottom part, they'll say you're a good egg or have a happy day. How about that? Okay, so hey chick. And I think I'll do this one in Poppy Parade just for a little bit of color. So if you did I? Oh, I thought I actually put that on um, upside down. If you're uh, just using new ink pad, oh, new ink pads for the first time, um, they are very uh, hard to open. There, that's better. Okay. So we all know there's two sides to every piece of paper, right? So if you mess up on one side, you just flip it over. And the only time that does not apply is if you're using a uh, um, uh, da, 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 glitter paper. Okay. So let's do some gluing now. I'm going to take my stamp and seal and I'm going to adhere this. Now I need to color my chickens and everything, but I'm not going to do that right now because you guys don't want to see me sit here and color. I don't imagine. Um, but what I could do is just very minimal coloring just enough to give these chickens a little bit of life. What do you think? These chickens, honestly, this guy I think is probably my favorite. And I don't know why, I think it's because he's just so funny looking. But he's, I think he's actually my favorite. And I think last night during class, I think it was Pauline was saying that those are called Silkies, I think if Pauline's here, she can tell me that, but I think she said that's the kind of chicken, oops, kind of chicken that she has. They're called silkies, I think she said they were called. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna take some orange and I'm going to color in, oops, not that side. Oh, these blends, honestly. I don't know if it's me getting weaker or they're just getting harder to open. Um, it could very well be me. Okay, I'm just trying. So I need to order another um, holder for my blends because there, my new ones are just laying on top of my old ones, and I need to, I need to get them straightened around because it's kind of bugging me. Okay, so there's that one. I'll leave him for right now. I don't think I'll do him. I think that's all the coloring I'll do for right now. Okay, I can always go back and color later. All right, so now the important thing we need to understand when we do this, this is going to be key or your card will not really work so well, is that, let me come back here. So we know that this is how this is going to go, right? So what we need to do though, let 
Um, you know what? I think I absolutely totally lied to you. I did. So I actually put glue in the wrong spot here. So I'm just going to do this and you won't be any the wiser. Okay. I knew that didn't seem right to me when I did it. Okay. So this actually, so this is going to be, so the important part to this card, um, they're much harder to open. Okay, good. I'm glad to hear that. So the important thing to this card is that when you're making your, um, when you're making your set, sorry, I'm just trying to, yeah, okay. When you're making your set, you want to build from the bottom up, okay? You automatically think, oh, I'm going to start here and go this way. No, we want to start from the bottom up. So I'm going to actually move this out of the way just for a second so that I can actually put some glue on here. So what I want to do is I want to, Line that up about there. Okay. Now, I got to decide what order I want these guys in. I think I'll go like this, like this, and then like this. Okay. So, when we go to glue, if you glue the entire thing down, because that's how we are programmed, right, is to glue the whole thing, it's going to glue right on top of this piece here. So, your card's not going to open. So I'm gonna suggest that you glue here, not on here, okay? So I'm just gonna take my stamp and seal. And again, building from the bottom and I'm lining, lining this up so it's straight. And again, gluing here and then lining up, okay? And then one more. Okay, so now what we wanna do, I'm gonna bring this card in, oops, I'm gonna bring this card in and we are going to position this where we would like it. We're gonna have to come down a smidge. We'll come down a smidge. Oh. Let's see if this works. Fingers crossed. Okay, is there anybody out there? My apologies, everybody. I'm not sure what is going on with this technology these days. But we'll give you guys a few minutes to get back. Because you're probably all on the other side going, where is she? Hello. And I'm over here all by my lonesome. Oh, I tell you, technology is not, not my friend these days. Okay. So hopefully you guys are seeing this. Okay, I'm back. Okay, so yes, I had to go on a live. Just a straight old live. I don't know what is going on. And I don't even know. Hi, Bev. I don't even know if I need to call my internet provider or if I need to figure out if it's Zoom. Because quite frankly, I'm here all day and it works perfectly fine, my internet. And I do a lot of video conferencing throughout the day. So I can't even imagine that it's my internet. I feel like it would be more Zoom because, but I don't even know anymore. <laughs> I don't know. I'm not going to lie. I have no idea. Okay, let's keep going in case I get kicked out again. Okay, so my one inch strip here, I'm going to position this kind of where I would like it. I'm going to open this up. And this is going to tuck in between here. So now this is the probably the trickiest part is that this bottom here. So this big piece here is going to line up. So this bottom here is going to line up with the bottom of this. So you want to make sure 
that this is all kind of sitting where you want it to, to be without going off your card, if that makes sense. So I'm going to go about there. Okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put some glue. Um, so hopefully you guys are finding me again. I'm just putting some glue at the bottom of this piece and it is going to line up with the bottom. Actually, I should make sure I'm doing this straight though. The bottom of this piece. That's not even actually in the middle, but anyway. Okay, so then I've already got glue on these two pieces, okay? So then what happens is that when I pull this, now I wanna put a secret message in here on this piece here. Um, okay, I don't know why all my stamps are sticking tonight. That's the little egg. Have a happy day is the one I said I wanted. Okay. Now I'm going to tell you if my, if this does not work and I get kicked out again, I'm really, really not going to be happy. So I'm going to do this on, I mean, in Poppy Parade. Okay. So we will do this again. So if you're just joining back on, oops, daisies, um, don't panic. I'm going to actually use stamp and seal on this piece here though. So you really do want to use a strong adhesive. Um, this is not a time to chimp out, chimp out, ah, chintz out on your adhesive. You need a good adhesive to do this card because you really don't want it falling apart, right? Okay, so I'm going to put this there. There we there, there we there. Okay, this is not even straight, but anyway. Okay. So there we go. Boop, 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 boop. Fun, right? Okay. So. No, technology is not my friend today, Cheryl. I'm going to tell you. I, yeah. We just got kicked off. Um, so I'm just kind of getting people back on. So you actually probably didn't miss too much. So we were going to do another card um, from the beginning and hope that it's, uh, we can get through it without getting kicked out. So, so yeah, so that is your card. Now I could put a piece of ribbon here and staple it down or whatever. So that the person receiving this card will know to pull, but usually when you have a notch out like that, people generally know, and then you can go ahead and, and do the inside of your card like you normally would. Right? So there's no, um, nothing different there. Now this is, I don't think, I don't know that I'd say it's any bulkier than a regular card going, but it may cost you a little bit more in postage. Okay, so that's card number one. So that was using this one. Now, the second one that I wanted to do, I have got an absolute mess on my desk right now, people. Yep, 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 yep. Okay, so the second one I wanted to do so these colors that I'm using are totally out of my um, totally out of my realm these are not traditional colors that I would normally use I think this was supposed to be the inside of my card actually I think I was so prepared earlier hi again Maybe we'll wait a second and see if we can get more people coming back. Because that is awfully frustrating. I'm not going to lie. Okay. All right. So this card I had thought would be really fun to do with the butterfly wishes. Is kind of what I was thinking. Because I thought we have the three butterflies. Well, four butterflies, I guess. 
Um, and then I thought this would be good as a, a background or even this one as a background on here. So this is Purple Posy, which um, the ink pad is not available um, due to quality issues, but uh, the paper is. So I like Purple Posy. It's a beautiful color. So what we're going to do is let's get this out of the way for a second. Let's get these ones out of the way for a second. Let's do our scoring. Okay. So let's get the cutter going the way we need it. Okay. So this is our one and seven eighths by nine. I'm going to make sure my cutting blade is at the bottom and that I'm not um, going to cut something in error. I'm going to only score. So I'm going to go in at two inches again. Again, my shirt's still caught in my cutter. Two inches, two and three quarters, three and a half, and four and one quarter. Okay. That's really the hardest part to this card, I would say. And then we mountain fold, mountain fold, mountain fold, mountain fold. Now, if I wanted to take my bone folder and mountain fold each of these just so that it sits a little bit better. I could do that. I just realized my center stage is coming off my bone folder. Okay. So I want to stamp something here. I'm going to do a random background on this and I know you guys are laughing at me because you all know that I don't do random, but um, I'm going to, I'm going to, I'm going to attempt, um, hang on, I just see a comment. I use the same colors of cardstock today to make a waterfall card. <laughs> see, we all think alike. I don't know why this stamp set for some reason, it just said purple posy, use purple posy. I don't know why, isn't that funny? Okay, I'm going to use this one and I think I'm going to use this little flower. And I'm going to do Highland Heather because I don't, well, I do have a Purple Posy ink pad, but it doesn't, um, it's not very good. And you guys can't order Purple Posy ink pad anyway. So there's no sense in cheesing you with that. I will just, I want to see what that actually, yeah. I'm going to do this actually. With these bigger stamps, I like to kind of go the opposite direction. So, and I'm not going to worry if it doesn't stamp perfectly because that's the beauty of random stamping and looking as a background. Um, is that it doesn't have to be, it doesn't always have to be perfect. So then I'm just filling in. See, this is my problem though, because then I'm like, oh, well, I, I should put one there. And, oh, I should put one there. When I should just learn to just stop. Oh, actually, I shouldn't have cleaned that because I do want to. I think I'll do this one here. Uh, sorry. I'm in the middle of a thought while I've got my stamp out. Can you guys see this gorgeous grape is really, really. Hmm. It's not dry. Okay. Do, 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 do. All right. I'm going to put this to the side for a second. Okay. Let's, let's, let's make a card. Let's make a beautiful card. Okay. Let's stamp our images first. Put these over here. Put these over here. Let's just. Get out what we need here. So we have our four white pieces. And I said I want to use the butterflies, right? So you guys have to tell me what color I'm going to stamp the butterflies. Am I going to do it in Gorgeous Grape? Am I going to do it in Highland Heather? Am I going to do a completely random color that has nothing to do with purples? You tell me. I know what I would say. but I'm always in awe over the color combination that you guys tell me to use. So my options are purple posy, or no, sorry, not purple posy, no. 
My options are Gorgeous Grape, Highland Heather, or any other color that um, you might think would be suitable. And these are my butterflies that I'm using. Anybody? I know it is a little delayed, but... And I don't have to do them all in the same color. I can actually do a combination of colors if you guys think that might help. What do you think? Highland. Okay. Highland it is. Where's my Highland? Oh, I threw it right to the back. Okay. What I could do... Oh, I could do a rock and roll. Let's try a rock and roll. What do you think? Have you guys ever rocked and rolled before? Okay, if you have never rocked and rolled before, here's another little technique for you. I'm just like throwing out all these things at you guys tonight. Rock and roll. I don't know what this is going to look like because these purples are kind of are along the same lines, but... Rock and roll, you can take your light color, which is my Highland Heather, and I'm going to stamp it like I normally would. I feel like there's more comments down here. Black and then color them in pink. Well, aren't you guys just like throwing like things I wasn't expecting at me? Okay, let me show you rock and roll. So I did Highland Heather. Now I'm going in with my darker purple. And again, I don't know what this is going to look like because these purples aren't completely different. So, um, And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to kind of roll my stamp into my darker color. Just enough to get the edges. I don't want the entire stamp filled. And then when I go to stamp, I can't even see what I'm doing here. Yeah, so you can't really tell on that because they're very, very similar. Um, but essentially, if I did these in two different colors, the inside will be light and the outside will be darker. That's actually kind of cool. Um, okay, so that's it. I could do a pink um butterfly and then i could do one that i color maybe no these are pretty solid colors um let's do um oh let's do work calls no you want to try blushing bride blushing bride peacock blue oh peacock blue now that is not a color I would have thought to put with this Marlin. Okay, this has gold uh, gilding all in it. <laughs> Weird, I don't know how that would have happened. Okay, and again, if I don't like this guys, I'm just gonna flip over my paper and I'm just gonna do it differently. It's pretty light. But that would look really pretty with um, Winka Stella on it. Okay, now, Marlin, you have me wanting to try a peacock. So we're going to do it. Because that was not on my radar. I think I'm going to... Oh, yeah. No, I'm not. That was not on my radar. Peacock. Pretty peacock. Pretty peacock. Huh. Really? I love this color. This is probably one of my favorite colors.
thing on my on my um I can use a stamp from another set. I'm just too darn lazy to get up and find. Okay, if truth be known, that's that's what it is. So let's do birthday wishes. I heard somebody has a birthday coming up soon. Who was that that told me they had a birthday coming up? I hope I didn't lose you guys again. Okay, I'm not frozen, am I? No? Okay. I'm pretty darn uh, worried now to even look down to see if it's frozen or not. Okay. So, my stamp is on completely crooked on my block. But that's okay. Because I just compensate by moving it. Now, let's put this back. And gorgeous grape. Love that color. Okay, now I'm going to use my stamp and seal. On my purple posy. Okay, I am not going to lie. I would not have thought to grab pretty peacock to put with purple posy but I love 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 those two colors together oh my see like I'm a very like stay in my box type person when it comes to colors you guys like push me out of my comfort zone I love it I don't think you'll be surprised by the colors I picked for the next card I'm going to put some, I was frozen for about a minute. Maybe it is my internet, do you think? I can't imagine. How is it I'm okay during the day? Does the darkness can affect, like, internet signal? I don't know. I may have to call the provider tomorrow and see what's going on. Oh, Because, you know, why not? All right, here's my little bits and pieces. So let's start building. So birthday wishes is going to go first, right? Because we're building from the bottom up. I'm going to put this one far away from this one. So I think what we can do is let's do the pink next, then the purple, and then the blue. Oh, that is so beautiful. Good choice, Mara. I know. Hey, that's phenomenal. I would not have thought to put that color there. Okay. I see more of those color combinations in my future, though. Oh my gosh, can you guys see how crooked that is? Okay, let me put this down first. I don't even know how I didn't notice that. Okay. There we go. Okay, that's better. Okay, so then... What did I say I wanted next? The pink? Too many people on at night? Well, I would imagine... Did people not work from home? Oh, see? Exactly what you don't want to do, guys. What did I tell you? What did I say to you? Do not put your glue... Where? That's right. Do not put it on the back of your card. I was looking for my eraser um i would imagine people during the day are working okay i have no idea where my eraser is darn it okay well i'm just gonna have to i had my eraser somewhere nice and close This is pretty darn sticky stuff. So I'm just trying to take the stick off. Um, yeah, I would imagine that people during the day, though, are... 
like even with kids on line school and stuff i can't imagine like i would have thought during the day it would have been worse i don't know it's a little bit frustrating i'm not gonna lie i don't know how this is gonna where did i oh i know where it is it's right smack dab in front of me guys okay i don't know if this is gonna work oh it does work on here Okay, so this is honestly, I'm not going to lie, this is a tool that Stampin' Up! used to sell 100 years ago. Um, it's an adhesive remover. It's a big, gigantic eraser is really all it is. Um, but it's amazing for taking glue off when you're not supposed to have it somewhere. Um, we don't sell it anymore, and it's one of those things that I really wish they would bring back. That might be a sandbox moment. Because if you do silly things like I just did, it's like a lifesaver. There. Okay, so now my glue's gone. Okay. I'm going to put this here. So, we are programmed to just glue the back of our papers, right? Don't do that. Don't do it. You almost need to write yourself... Um, it's with your outrageous <laughs> I think it is. Um, do you think you guys are crashing the internet? Maybe. I don't know. I honestly, I, I'll have to call the uh, internet provider tomorrow. And I'm sure they'll say, oh, no, ma'am, it's not us. Okay. I know, though, when I'm at home during the day, um, as soon as the kids get up, not so much Owen, but as soon as Maya gets up and gets on the internet, I can't do anything anymore, so I come to the studio to work. Because then when she's, once she logs on, I can't, I can't do anything. So I don't mind coming here during the day because I find it's very quiet and very peaceful. And I actually get a lot more work done. And I'd rather not know what they're doing during the day because it would probably just annoy me. Oh, and I got a punch. I have to punch this one. There. Okay. So we're going to lay this here. This is, oh my gosh, such a pretty card. Okay. So... I'm gonna lay this about there, I think. I feel like I'm gonna sneeze. Okay. So if I lay this, oh, I'm gonna use my stamp and seal plus on this one. So actually what I'll do on this one is I will try to center this here-ish, okay? And then, I know you guys are like, yeah, why didn't you do that at the beginning? Because that would be so much easier. Uh -huh, I know. It takes me a little bit sometimes, guys, to think of common sense things. I just figure I think all day long that when it comes to my stamping stuff, I shouldn't have to think too hard. How about that? Okay. I think that could have gone over a smidge. But anyway, it's down now, so it doesn't really matter. And there we go. Boom, 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 boom. How pretty is that? Doo -doo. You guys are doing a phenomenal job picking colors. Okay. And the very last one, if we have time, what time is it? It's 8.08. .08. Okay, I'm going to go quicker on this last one. Okay, so. Last one. Dress to impress. Which I know is probably a stamp set that you're like, eh, no. But you like that one, eh? I know, me too. It's very pretty. Um, so this was supposed to be the inside of my card. Over there. 
This actually has a die that goes with it. It's beautiful. And I'm telling you, if I can do the double, um, double, what did I say it's called? Double default card. Um, if I get one done, I will show it to you. Okay. So, uh, what was I thinking here? I think I was thinking flowers in black with some, um, pinks potentially. I don't even know what I was thinking here. I'm just going to completely random this one. Let me do my scoring first because I'm going to forget. Because you know how I am. A little bit forgetful sometimes. So two, two and three quarters, three and a half, and four and a quarter. Okay, done. Worst part done. Okay, now I'm going to take this. Normally I would emboss this, right? You know I would. You know that's what I would do. But honestly, I'm feeling kind of lazy today. So I'm just going to random stamp this baby up. And I'm going to do it in black. Because I could fill it with the pinks. If I wanted. Uh, uh, mm, mm, mm. Okay. And okay, good thing my um thingamajigger's going over that one. Um ba, 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 ba. Okay, one more. I could do like lipstick and stuff, but I just thought the roses would be super pretty as background. And I could do some with color. I know this probably doesn't look very attractive, right? Okay, you know me and random. Oh my gosh, honestly. I think what I'll do is I'm going to try one back here with magenta. And then if it doesn't work out. It doesn't matter because nobody even knows it's there because it's hiding behind. <laughs> okay. So, okay. My magenta is the only one that does not have a sticker on it and it drives me a little bit bonkers. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to, I'm going to put my, no, I'm not, I'm not going to do that tonight. Because the way my night's going, I'm not going to. Did somebody try to message me? Okay. Pretty. I'm not going to do all of them though. Okay. I'm not going to do those. It's cute on this one, but no, I'm not going to do it. Okay. Let's just carry on. Let's just carry on. What am I doing now? Okay. So. We have what? We have a lipstick, a shoe, a perfume, and life is short by the shoes. I love that. Um, so I think what I'll do is I'll use the lipstick and I can color this in. Really? I can't figure out the last step. Mine won't pull down. So you have to, where's my card? So Linda, your this long strip has to glue on the bottom of sorry i'm just trying to find my other piece this strip oh this has got a nice oh look that's got a cut in it that's not gonna work um has to glue on the bottom like that and then it will pull and you have to mount and fold those i'm gonna have to cut another piece of this because that is not going to do me much good. Okay, let's do the lipstick. Lipstick. Do I want to go straight? No, let's go this way. Okay, I don't know why I'm twisting myself. Lipstick. Shoe? Shall we do a shoe? I don't think the perfume.
perfume's gonna fit, but. Let's try it. Ooh, let's like try stamping straight maybe. So we got a perfume, we got a, no, we don't. We have a lipstick, we have a shoe. Um, Let's see if we can get a perfume bottle in here. Mm. Oh, maybe. We get most of it anyway. My wrist is really, really bothering me. Did it work? Um, okay. Oh, I think the boys are here. Okay. So then, for my verse... Kindness is always in style. Be as bold as your lipstick. Life is short. Buy the shoes. I can't do life short by the shoes. It doesn't fit. Be as bold as your lipstick. Kindness is always in style. I think kindness is always in style. I like that. I like that. Okay. Oh yeah. See, and <sighs> my Magenta Madness is the only stamp set or ink pad that doesn't have a sticker on it yet. And it it kind of bugs me when I look. And I'm missing an ink pad. I don't know where I put it. Kindness is always in style. Looks like you know, I don't think it's too much to ask. No. Uh-oh, we're having internet problems here too. Oh, okay, that makes me feel a lot better, Mary Lou, because I honestly, I wonder if it's, maybe it is the internet. The only reason I think it's not is because I'm here all day, like on a video conference. I can't imagine, but I don't know. Like, I know it sounds silly, but I know like it has to get a signal to oil springs. So is it like, it can't get a signal in the dark or something, or maybe it's like a little bit cloudy or something. I don't know. Okay. Let's, um, I gotta get another piece here of this. So let me, let me do that. Um, and then I'll help you guys put this together. We'll go a little slower on the assembly part and see what happens. Um, I need, what is going on with this paper? Four and a quarter, I said. Four and a quarter. Oops, that's my score. Um, hmm, that's weird. Um, one inch, I said. <laughs> Good shot. I'm feeling challenged. <laughs> Don't feel challenged, my love. We'll help you. Okay. Where's my little bits? Let me put my bits together and then we can do some assembly. Okay. Um, this one I can glue here. Now I would probably color these all in later. But I'm not going to do that right now on camera. That's the beauty. You can always go back and color later, right? Okay, I must have glue on my hand because everything's sticking to me. Okay, here we go. Yeah, so I'll go back and color these because I think that lipstick would look really pretty colored in a magenta madness. If it happens to be the internet that's the problem, I hope it gets straightened around because I it might like get very, very grumpy very, very quickly. It's funny, you know. <laughs> you, 
years ago, we didn't have the internet, right? We didn't, we had nothing online. Online was like, what? What do you mean online? What does that mean? Now we get grumpy if we can't be online. So crazy. Okay. Let's do some assembling here. So for those of my friends that are putting this together at home with me, I'm just creasing these nicely. Okay. Okay. So I want this. So we're always starting gluing from the bottom. And we are always gluing on this piece. Oh my gosh. Honestly, tonight the glue is not even being my friend. Come on, glue. Okay. And then we'll do this one. Let's go perfume. Okay. And then we'll go actually these are kind of nice and block anyway maybe I won't color them we'll see we'll see what kind of mood I'm in okay so we got our bits we're happy oh I gotta cut my little oh I didn't put a secret message on the last one did I that's okay I can go back and do that later okay so here we are my stamping friends that are stamping with me at home. Actually, you know what we can do? So this might make it a little bit easier. This part here, so this is my part that's got all my bits on it. So if you flip this up, okay? This glue here, or this piece here, we're going to glue on the bottom of this. So it actually looks like a T. Okay. So I'm going to glue here. I'm going to line this up. Like that. Okay. So this is my little notch. And then these are my little bits. Okay, so now remember though, you guys have to, you can only glue on those little flaps, not on the whole thing. So once you've got that, you're going to lay this down on your card. Oh, it's going to stamp on that. And basically you're going to adhere your glue on these two pieces here where my fingers are. Okay, so I'm going to use my Stampin' Seal Plus for this part. I want to make sure. So really, this should be the only place that has glue. If you have glue anywhere else. So once I have the glue on my two bits here, on my um, cross paper, I'm going to lay this down where I want it. Straight, hopefully. I'm going to push that down. So now when I go to pull, you can see it's pulling. I was going to do this one sideways and I forgot. Oh, well, it doesn't matter. It would be the exact same thing. Just my images are going the other direction. Okay. So that's the important part is that the glue um, so your long strip, you just want to put a little bit along the bottom here, right? And that lines up with the bottom of this piece. That makes sense. I hope it does. Okay. And then it should, it should come together pretty nicely. And then you can actually score these a little bit more if you want. Now I could color these 
flowers and like a light pink maybe I don't know what color it is. Oh, flirted flamingo. Why the heck did I pick flirted flamingo? Okay, well, I guess I'll do another flirted flamingo color over here. Just to balance it. Got it? Awesome. Okay. So it's really not... A very hard um, concept once you understand the um, assembling of the mechanisms. What the heck color is this? Pink pirouette. Hmm. It's funny because that's not what pink pirouette looked like in person. I think I actually like the flirty flamingo better now. Hmm. So, there you have it, ladies. So, Ruth, if you're still on, I think you sent me um, a card. Still clueless. Uh-oh. Okay, Bev, you're going to maybe, what we'll do is um, maybe you can go back and watch the video after. I don't have any more paper cut here to show you. A little closer to understanding. Um, so yeah, it's pretty. Um, I just want to see if I had a piece that I could show you. So, the, la, 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 la. so your long strip. I think I haven't got the folding right. Okay. So the folding, Bev, you want to do mountain folds, which means you're going to fold it up, right? So fold them, um, I say like towards me is what I say, but I don't know if that helps you, if that makes sense to you or not. And they all go the same fold, right? They all go the same direction. So don't go like mountain valley, mountain valley. Don't do that, right? You want all mountain folds. And I say mountain folds, and then I don't know if, if people understand what that means. Because for the longest time, I did not know what that meant until somebody explained it to me. And then I was like, oh, that makes sense to me. But I'll tell you, felt kind of silly for the longest time. So maybe what I will do is I'm going to actually, oh, I'm going to modify this video this live and I'm going to cut that helps I think okay um, and I'm going to cut some parts out of it that I think we don't need and then I will post it to the YouTube channel as well okay so you guys can go back and watch it um, instead of having to scroll through this feed trying to find it because I know sometimes we get a lot of conversations on the go and we um, it gets hard to find things because I know I find it hard to find things okay so number one which this one's gonna bug me because it's not straight but it's now down and this has to be cut off because it's bugging me okay. so number one is our chickens do, do, do. very cute I'll go back and color them later number two this one might be my favorite oh I forgot to put one castell on here um, and so I could actually um, cut a white strip to put on top of here to uh, put a secret verse in here or a secret sentiment in here or a secret message. I'm going to have to take some of the glue off here. Hmm. Okay, there. It's a little better. There. Okay. Um, so that's number two. And then number three is this one here. So those of you that were stamping along with me, I'm curious to see how your cards turned out. And don't worry because 
you have to remember this is your very first time doing these. So those of you that um, were not stamping along with me, that were just watching, I would love to know what you guys think of this technique. Oh, and I was starting to say Ruth sent me a very cool, um, a very cool card layout. It was kind of a definitely, definitely a fancy fold. Um, and I'd like to try it. I just don't know when, but I'd like to try it. So, um, stay tuned for that one. So tomorrow's Thursday. Is it tomorrow Thursday? Oh, yeah, tomorrow's Thursday. Oh, yay. Number two. I know I like number two the best too, I think. I got to do something with this one. I don't know. I don't know what I'm going to do with this one. This one I love. Absolutely love that one. Um, so does anybody want to craft, craft tomorrow night? These, you know what, with, um, like Valentine's day coming up, I, if I give it to someone, how do they know to pull the tab? So Kelly, so we were saying with the notch, most people know, but if you don't think that will work, you could actually put a piece of ribbon here and that usually like most people go, Oh, what's that ribbon? Like, I don't know what it is with people, but they like to pull things <laughs> or you could put just like, even just in like writing pull right and i would think that most people will kind of look at that and go oh that's kind of interesting trying to figure out how they see the rest of it and once they go like this to see the next image they realize oh that's right well most people <laughs> i kind of feel like if i gave this to my boss she'd be in such awe she wouldn't realize that she's supposed to pull so i don't know um but generally people don't seem to have an issue figuring that out because they want to see what this one is. So they flip it and then they realize they can pull, but you could put just pull on there as well. Okay. So tomorrow night is Thursday. If anybody has anything they would like to learn or try, or if there is a product that you have no idea how to use that you would like to know how to use, um, message me and um we can do that um oh linda i was saying with valentine's day these would be super cute to give grandkids or little kids i think they'd be awesome um but yeah if you guys have something you'd like to learn or technique or um a product you're not sure how to use um let me know so the gilded leafing is definitely something you're going to see me using a lot of coming up. Um, the event that I was at on Saturday showed us um, even more ways to use it that I didn't even realize I could use it that way. So you'll see me using more of that going forward. Um, it's a little bit messy, that stuff, but it's so, 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 so much fun. So, um, yeah. Okay. I'm going to go, I have got, um, I don't know, six or seven boxes of orders sitting here. Um, so I was going to put, organize them tonight. I'm kind of tired. So I think what I'll do is just organize them tomorrow. So if you guys were at the BOGO event, um, and are waiting on an order, it's likely here. It's just, um, um, I just, I just can't, I just can't do it tonight. I need to go home. Um, so, well, hopefully you're learning. Um, I have some, I have some, I discovered, but large gold flakes. Yes. Those are probably very similar to the gilded leafing. I don't even know. Oh, mine's right here. So these are very, um, these are gigantic. They're fluffy. These things. They're just, they're gigantic pieces of gold foil they're awesome um so we are using that in the art gallery class which if you have not signed up for you need to do so asap okay that's it guys that's all i got three 
waterfall cards. Hopefully didn't thoroughly confuse you guys. I hope it actually um, gave you guys something fun to try. Um, and if it doesn't work the first time, go back and watch the video. And if you have any questions, just message me. And I'll see if I can help you out and go from there. Okay? All right. Thanks, everybody. Have a fantastic night. Stay safe. Stay warm. And we will maybe see you tomorrow night if you guys would like. Okay? So just comment or ask or message me, whatever. Okay? Thanks, everybody. Talk to you later. Bye.